Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Okay. Again. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Good. Fine. Okay. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. down and get over here, boy. Come on, son. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Easy, boy. Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Go! Uh, oh. uh, oh. I gotta build that. You need to calm down. Shoot! Shoot! Chuck, ease up. Don't get no ideas. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? 
fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. You gonna make yourself useful around here? I'll try, Pa. I'll really try. Good. Maybe try harder. Don't mind me. Okay, then. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full. Sir. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. And since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh, well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Oh, hey, easy now. Okay, <laughs> Jeremiah. There, boy. Relax. Hey, now. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. It's all right. I'll be in the corral, man. <sighs> all right. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Let's get 
get a lather up. Come on! Okay. That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? Ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there ain't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. In here. So... You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town. Get him. Okay, now. Oh, I lost it. Get a hold of it again. <laughs> and pull. Hold them, Milton. <laughs> okay, well, I think she's. Well, we're not out of the woods, but. I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We... we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm... I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton.
Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa! What's happening? Help! Easy there! Easy there! Whoa! Jack! You okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. All right. Now let's go again. Yeah. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Even faster, come on. Faster? We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Faster now. Come on. Sir, if I go any faster, he'll buck me again. Okay. See? You're learning. Yeah. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! You know how old my horse is.
jockey. Last strike. Come on. Well ridden, son. You won. This time. Whoa. But we both rode hard. And you're riding? It's got a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. He said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! You can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Jim! They got Dickens! Over by the stable! It's over. It's a rich man's body. Who's this? A new hand? Never met him. 
Watch it burn! You know that offer? It just went down. Crap. These is trained guns and they aim to you. Where's Kenny's now? Jim? They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my gut. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Horses here. We'll be better on foot. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. Hey! Hey! You boys! Been coming up to pro. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn! I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here. said something about my wife. Piss stinking, shit shoveling, backwoods, sacka, no good, trash. You know 
that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes. <laughs> Mr. Milton, this man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice? 
did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Russell. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Can we go a little slower? Ma said it was pride or something. Your Ma was wrong about that. Here, want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. I... It's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. Whoa! Strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. I am quite aware. All right. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to... Name? My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. 
You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the uh, saloon, or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Hey, uh. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Just a bit faster now. Faster, please. Faster. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Fine. Pull your reins in. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. Yeah. I think the horse is getting skittish. It'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look around. Oh, Pa, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just... Here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Sure. He had it coming to him. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but... He was trying to rob... You're talking bullshit, mister! Kill him! <laughs>
It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look for Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. You know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Beecher's Hole. That's right. Beecher's Hole. Over by Blackwater. You're going so fast. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I don't like going this fast. I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an... Uh... Eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you. 
but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Mm -hmm. Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. 
Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Cruel, cruel world must I go 